One great feature of WoW's streaming engine is its ability to simultaneously stream to multiple targets. Now we'll be doing this with a live stream that's already running from OBS Studio into WoW's streaming engine. You can see it's currently playing back in JW Player's stream tester. So back in WoW's streaming engine, we can go to the application that's being used for this stream, and then here we can locate the incoming stream, which I've aptly named live underscore shoot. Now we'll need to know this for the stream targets setup. So under stream targets, we'll be adding a stream target, but notice first stream targets has not been enabled. So we're gonna enable this now, but generally we'll want to have this enabled first before even starting any streams. Because in doing a restart of the application, we'll be disrupting that stream to our own website. So for our first stream target, we have many destination setups that you can choose from. In most cases, you'll probably end up using that generic RTMP, but for this, we'll be simulcasting to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. So we'll create targeting to Facebook Live first, making the stream target name a reference to the Facebook page we'll be using. The source stream name will be that incoming stream live underscore shoot. Then we can finish things off with a good title and description. The connection to Facebook is simple if you're already logged into your account within the web browser you're using. Then you just need to pick your destination and the page if that's required. When you're ready, just add the target. Since we've already enabled stream targets, and the incoming stream is already running, the newly created stream target to Facebook will connect immediately. And once active, we'll start streaming on Facebook Live. So if you go to your Facebook page, you'll see that it's already running. We can shut it down by going back to Wowza Streaming Engine, and then from there selecting the icon for disabling the stream target. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Instead, I'm going to let it continue to stream on Facebook while we add our second stream target, this time going to YouTube Live. We'll give this stream target a name once again, and as before, the source stream name will be our incoming stream. The rest of the information we'll need from YouTube, which means we need to go there and create the live stream. So. Once you've got everything on YouTube Live set up, we'll first copy the main URL. Now this information gets divided with Live2 as the destination application name and the rest as the destination host, well, minus the prefix. Last, we'll need the destination stream name, which from YouTube is going to be the stream key. All you need to do is copy that information over, and once it's copied over into Wowza Streaming Engine, we can add the target, just like before. And like before, when you see it's active, it means that it's working, and you should be now live on YouTube. So now, we'll be simulcasting to YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and possibly our own website. And you can see this with the playback on JW Player's stream tester. Okay, now that we get everything working, to shut down each stream, we can just use the option to disable them and then confirm it. Now you can do this individually or you can disable all stream targets in the same way you enabled them before. Well, that's really it for simulcasting. Everything should be shut down that was targeted, but your incoming stream, which should still be running to your website. Thanks for watching this video, and for more help with Wowza Streaming Engine, please contact us at Wowza.